Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Welcome back. Um, so, it's been a minute since we did a string pull. So we're going to do one of those today. Um, but first we're going to do a pour on the background. We're going to keep it really simple and just do white and blue. And so I'm basically going to just layer these in here. I'm actually going to add a little bit of this turquoisey color that I have because I think that's pretty too. And we'll go well. Okay, good. So now I'm going to pour it in basically a tree ring fashion here. But kind of quickly. Not for any particular reason other than I'm not uh, really, it's just a background. This is not a main focal painting background here. So there we go. All right, now we're going to go ahead and run quite a bit of this off the canvas. Because um, especially for a string pull, you can't have a lot of paint on the back of the canvas. Or uh, it'll just... The designs and whatnot you make will just kind of sink back in because the paint will just eat it up. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So, anywho, I'm just going to run quite a bit of this paint off so that we just have a nice thin layer of paint in the background here. All right, I think that should be good. Let's see which direction I want it to go. I think I want it to go this way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit there for just a minute, kind of see what else moves around, and then we'll go ahead and do our string pull. Okay, so this is just a cotton string that you can get anywhere, the dollar store, whatnot. Uh, and then I have a little plastic lid here that I filled with black paint and what we're going to do is we're going to completely submerge this string in the paint. I cut it a bit longer than I think I need. Um, yeah, I think it's better to have it a little too long than not long enough. And basically, my friend Tina, I'll put her channel down in the description she did a painting one time and she sent it to me <laughs> and I just thought it was so gorgeous. So I've been kind of trying to semi recreate it since. Um, I'll show you guys after I do this, but yeah, I have not been able to yet. Okay. So I'm going to go over to this side of the pour start about here and there's you you can do this multiple ways i'm going to kind of loop it back and forth i've tried a few different patterns and this has been so far my favorite one you can do big loops or smaller loops it's up to you and then basically you just want to carefully pull it straight down to make this pattern that is you can definitely make other patterns in other ways. There we go. And you can keep going. You can do more flowers. I'm going to leave this at that. Um, although, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to mess it up. I really like it. Real quick, though, I'm going to show you guys Tina's uh, painting. which I still think is by far better than mine. <laughs> so, anywho, but that's okay. I really love how this came out. And there you go. We'll go ahead and do a really quick close-up. All right, so bottom right corner. We've got some nice cells and whatnot going on in here. 
upper right corner, upper left corner, and here is our string pull. <clears throat> here is our string pull. Um, look at those crazy cells that were developed within there. Go down here. There you go. That's just cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did another video on different things you can do a string pull with, um, like different kinds of strings, ribbon, um, ball chains, and whatnot. So there's tons of different things you can use. Go ahead and give it a try. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.